Okay, in today's um, video, I am going to be going through um, how to draw a floor plan to kind of help you guys with your projects. So, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to need a piece of paper, a big floor plan piece of paper for our project, and I have those. And then you are going to need a pencil, a ruler, a Sharpie, and a Sharpie pen, and then a bottle of whiteout if you make any mistakes. Okay, and I have all those available in class as well. So, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is the biggest thing to remember when drawing on this um, graph paper is it's kind of hard to see in this video because you, you're not super close, but they have these little squares and they're about this big, okay? And those are the little squares on your paper and you'll be able to see it when you're looking at your own paper. That counts as one square foot. So this is how you're going to be able to draw your floor plan to scale is by realizing that every single blue square on this paper counts as one square foot. Um, the how you get your total square footage is you times the length by the width. So if I were to draw a room this size, I would count my squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It'd be 11 by, I just drew an H. It'd be 11 by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 by 15. And so 11 times 15 is 155, is that right? 165. So 11 times 15 is 165. And so this room right here would be 165 square feet. Okay. So that's the main um, thing you want to understand when you are drawing your floor plans, is how to get the sizing right. The next thing you're going to do is if you're having a hard time with this, um, you are more than welcome to use a floor plan from like Pinterest or Google or anything like that as a reference. Um, that's what I'm going to do in this video today because I want to keep this relatively short. I don't want to design a floor plan from scratch because that would take too long. So I printed out this very, very simple, small, one-bedroom apartment floor plan to kind of go off of. And the nice thing about this floor plan that I chose is that every single room is already pre-measured. And so it tells me this is like 10, um, 10, and a, um, 10 by 11, and this one is... 19.8 by 11.8. And so I know exactly how big a square is to draw. Now, for the purposes of this project, to keep this as easy as possible for you guys, I would just round up. So instead of doing 10 feet, two inches, I would just do 10 squares and then 11 squares. Um, this one, I would probably do 20 squares by 12 squares. And then I would kind of make it so it's even, just so it's easier on you guys when creating your rooms. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my living room, which is going to be 20 by eight, um, 20 by 12. And so I'm going to start down here and I'm going to count out 20 squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so it's going to end here and start here. Okay, I'm then going to use my ruler because your ruler is your best friend. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna count out by 12. I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's going to end here. Now, I'm going to use my ruler because even though these have lines on this paper for you to follow, a ruler is still going to be your best option as far as making the straightest, prettiest lines. And I do require very straight, pretty lines for these floor plans. So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to draw my first wall across that blue line. Okay, and then I'm going to draw again. Oh, sorry about that. And that's going to be my start of my room, okay? Now I'm gonna come over here and I am going to join that together. Okay, and I have my living room started. Then my bedroom is on top of that, and so I'm gonna draw that, and this is 10 by 11 or so. And so I'm going to count one, and it looks like this wall right here is a little bit shorter than this wall, so I'm assuming this one is going to be the 10 footer, and this one's going to be the 11 footer. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and that's the bedroom, and it's gonna go across to 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So it's going to end here. Um, yeah, and so I'm going to draw in the bedroom. Okay. 
Okay, then I'm going to draw the walls down. Okay, and that's my bedroom for right now. Then I am going to go ahead and I am going to add in my um, kitchen, which looks to be about, I'm gonna label these so I don't. Bedroom. So I don't get confused. I am going to add in, um, it looks like this has a closet in it and it looks like it's about three feet. So I'm gonna add in some walls right here for my closet. It looks like it's gonna come about around down here. It's got a, cur a slanted wall and then it's gonna come around here. Okay, so there's my closet and this is where my door is going to be. Okay. All right. I'm then going to go in and I am going to add my hallway, which is probably about three feet. So one, two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider hallway. I'm gonna do four feet. And so there's gonna be my hallway. Okay, and like I said, I'm just using this floor plan as reference. I'm not gonna make it exactly the same if I don't want to. I can do different things. And if you're looking at floor plans as a reference as well, don't. it doesn't mean you have to have it the exact same floor plan that you're looking at. Like you can 100% just use it as a reference. So I have, my, um, I have my hallway, and then it looks like I have a really nicely sized bath. And um, this one, unfortunately, does not have the measurements in there, and I'm not 100% sure why. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of guess. It looks like it's a little bit, um, I can measure with my ruler and see how wide it is on the paper. So my bedroom is about three and a half um, inches, and the bathroom is about three. So I'm just going to honestly do it probably... I feel like I want to make my bedroom a little bit bigger, and I think I wanna do that. So I am going to erase where I started right here, and I'm gonna make my bedroom actually go to where I drew the hallway, and that's where I'm gonna make it end. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I want a little bit more space. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna make my hallway. Yeah, that to me makes a little bit more sense. And I like the way that looks. Okay, so since um, the bath and the bedroom on this paper was a little bit uh, close, I'm gonna kind of use that as a reference. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do about ten, and I'm just going to add it in right here. That's gonna be my bath. And then I'm going to draw in my kitchen, which is going to go down here. I'm gonna join it up with the living room. So here I have a living area, a kitchen area all together. It's gonna to be an open style floor plan. It looks like my entrance is going to be right here. Okay, and it looks like I'm gonna have some kind of back entrance out here. It looks like possibly to a patio of some kind, maybe like a balcony. This is gonna be an apartment style floor plan. Okay, now that I have the basic shape drawn, okay, I'm then going to go in and draw um, the walls. Now, your walls are one, um, one half of the width of one of the squares. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my ruler in the middle of one of the boxes, and I am going to draw down, okay? And I like to add corners in. It makes it a little bit easier for me to add them in. So then I'm gonna go over here, 
and I'm gonna draw my wall all on this side. I'm gonna do all my exterior walls first. And I'm gonna add my corner. Now, personally, for this particular project, if I were you guys, I would do a bigger floor plan than this. I'm just keeping this as simple as possible for the video tutorial purposes, but for this project, and that wall's a little bit thick, but that's okay. Um, for this uh, project, I would do a little bit bigger floor plan, challenge yourself a little bit. So I'm drawing all my exterior walls first, like I said. And always, always, always use a ruler. Okay, so I have my exterior walls drawn. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to add my interior walls. So I'll start here at the hallway. Draw my wall down. Same thing here. It's a little hard because of my right hand, so I'm gonna flip my floor plan around a little bit. Okay, I've got my interior walls for my hallway. I'm going to erase the wall right here because I have this open to a hallway. So that is time to be erased, okay? I'm gonna add in my wall for my bathroom, my other interior wall. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in the interior wall for my bedroom slash living room area. Okay, so I have my walls drawn. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my windows. So I want a nice big window in the living room right here, so I'm gonna do a big window. And the way that you draw windows is you just draw them a little bit, um, you block them off in the floor plan and then you draw a line through them, kind of like a sliding window pane. Okay, and there's a window. I'm gonna add um, a window in the kitchen above. I'm gonna put the sink over here, and so I'm gonna add a nice big window right here to put my sink over, I mean to put over my sink. Okay. And then, um, you know, I might add another window over here. I love natural light, so I might as well add in lots of windows for my personal preference. Okay. And then I am going to, I don't really know where I wanna put the be um, window in my bedroom yet. Um, because it depends on where I'm going to place my furniture. So I'm going to leave that blank for a second. Okay. Um, oh, I was going to draw the closet from, remember we had the closet showing in the um, other bedroom and then I erased it because I want to make my bedroom a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go about here. And if I saw it correctly, it had a slanted wall and then it joined in right there. Okay. I'm going to draw my interior walls for that. And as you can see, it's starting to kind of come together now. You can kind of start to see that it's looking like a floor plan and like a house. Okay, so I have my closet drawn there. And so now I've got my bedroom, my living room, my living and kitchen area, and my bathroom. Again, this is a very small, simple floor plan. I would definitely do a little bit larger one to challenge yourself. Maybe add in two bedrooms, add in that kind of stuff. So now, what I'm gonna do is, you know what? I'm kind of looking at this floor plan. I think I want to, no, it's a good size. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I have that done, I'm going to start furnishing said floor plan. So um, what I'm gonna do then is I have a bunch of floor plan symbols that I'm going to use, and I'm gonna go get those real quick, and then I will start showing you what it is that how you um, furnish a floor plan. So I have all these symbols that you guys are welcome to use in class. And they look like this, okay? So I have different versions of them. I've got this one is, it says it's a home furnishing one and it looks like it's got bedrooms, uh, large sectional uh, tables, chests, things like, like that. Here's one that's got a bunch of different circle shapes and um, it's got a bunch of different, uh, like launch. This is like, this one is a yardscaper. So it has like bushes and circles and things like that for that. This one is a 
dining slash kitchen. And so you have tables, you have um, table, uh, you have different types of tables, you have ranges, refrigerators, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add in um, my kitchen cabinets per se first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I think I want an L-shaped kitchen and I'm gonna have it go across this wall right here and this wall right here. And I make my kitchen cabinets about two boxes one deep. And so I'm going to draw them like this. Okay, and I'm gonna do two boxes over here. Give myself this nice L-shaped kitchen. And I think I have plenty of room to add in an island too, which will be nice. Okay, so there are my, that's my kitchen cabinet shape anyways, the way that I'm going to have my layout follow. And I am going to erase the kitchen name. And I think I'm gonna add in an island as well. So, let's see. I'm gonna add in my island in a, here we go. I'm gonna do an island and I'm gonna make it, you want at least two feet of walking space, so I'm gonna start my island here at least. And I'm going to, I'm gonna draw my island. And these templates are nice because you can just trace, okay? And so that's gonna be my island right there. And then I'm going to start adding in my appliances like my stove, my sink, things like that. Now I'm gonna have my stove and my refrigerator right here. And if you remember in interior design one, we talked about the um, work triangle and how you want all your pieces close together. So I am going to draw in, I'm gonna find the refrigerator symbol, which is right here. I'm gonna draw that in, oh, I'm gonna draw that in. Okay, there's my refrigerator. I'm gonna draw in, um, you know what, I'm going to give myself a little bit more walking space and I'm gonna change the pass, um, the placement of that island. I'm then going to draw my stove right here and I am going to do a nice big stove, okay? And I am going to actually draw a, um, hood over my stove as well because I think those look nice and so that's those ones are actually really easy to draw and I can show you that in class and so I'm going to draw a oven vent over my stove give it that look and then I'm going to draw in my um, little oven rings I guess is what you'd call them and I need to find a really small Circle to be able to do that. So I'm gonna use this circle shape right here. And I'm going to draw in my oven range. Okay, and I only have to draw the first two because the hood is covering the back ones, and so you don't have to worry about that. And then I am going to put my sink right over here. And so I need to find my symbols that say sink. And it just kind of depends on where those are. This is, here's my dining slash kitchen one. Okay. And I don't know if a sink is on this symbol and to keep this uh, video as brief as possible, I'm just gonna draw in my own sink. And so I'm going to draw in a nice big double sink. Remember, always use your ruler so you get those nice, perfect straight lines. I can already tell right there, I tried to draw that fast and it did not turn out very straight. So always use your ruler. It's very important. Okay, and so then I have my nice double sink. Right there, I'm gonna draw some drains right there so it kind of looks more like a sink. And so I've got my sink, my stove, my refrigerator. So my work triangle would be right 
and you do not have to draw your work triangle in. I'm just showing you from interior design one. If you remember, my work triangle is right there. Okay, so I'm gonna erase that. And I'm going to add in my kitchen island again, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different placement. I'm gonna put a little over here and give myself a little more room to work with. That didn't turn out super straight. I am going to straighten that up. And here is my island. Okay, so now my kitchen is relatively shaped. I'm gonna move on to the um, bathroom. Okay, so now I'm going to find my bathroom stencil. Okay, and this one is a bedroom living room, bedroom living room, bedroom kitchen living room. Okay, here we have the bathroom. Okay, so I'm gonna draw in. I did like how in this floor plan included um, an area for a laundry room. This is a very small apartment, and so when that is the case and you have very, very small space, they usually make um, rooms have dual purposes. So if you look in this floor plan right here that I'm kind of following, you have your stackable washer and dryer right here inside the bathroom, and you also have your um, bath, a, a place for your water heater, toilet, and sink. And then you also have um, some closets that I did not include that I would probably go back and kind of reshape if I wanted to. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in my bathtub. Sorry, where'd it go? Oh, sorry, it's right here. Okay, so I'm gonna add in my bathtub right here. I'm gonna draw the shape of the bathtub first. And then I'm gonna draw the square shape around it. Okay, so my bath is in, okay. I'm then going to add in, I'm gonna reshape this a little bit. I'm gonna put uh, my, I'm definitely gonna reshape this. I'm gonna put my toilet right here. I think it looks a little bit better right there. So I'm gonna find my toilet symbol. Okay, so there's my toilet. And then I'm gonna put a nice big vanity right here, okay. And so to do that, I'm just gonna draw a square. A nice big vanity. And I am going to do my sink, which are right here. Okay, and I'm gonna do a cool square looking sink. Okay, so there is my vanity and my sink. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna make this area my little um, washer and dryer closet, uh, closet area. And so I'm gonna make a wall right here And I'm going to add in my washer and dryer, which is right here. It fits perfectly. And now you only have to draw one because I'm doing a stackable washer and dryer. And so they're just on top of each other. And so I would write washer slash dryer, so W slash D, so that people who are reading this floor plan would understand that you would stack this on top of each other. So then I need to add in a door that I looks like I forgot. So I'm gonna go in and I am going to add A door right here. Now I've drawn enough floor plans that I can draw a door by hand relatively easy. If you are struggling with doors, um, luckily these floor plans have doors as well that you can do and they are, um, let me see if I can find one that has a door. I think a lot of previous students have stolen my floor plan symbols and have yet to return them. So um, you all have to buy some more for this class uh, to kind of help you with that, but you can just draw your doors on your own if I don't have the 
symbols for you guys. Yeah, they definitely, I used to have way more, and so they definitely have taken and not brought back. So make sure if you borrow my floor plan symbols, you return them. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna have, it looks like my kitchen's relatively small, because I guess this is a small apartment, and so I don't really have room for a dining area, and so I'm gonna put bar stools um, right here by the, um, by the island, and that's going to be where I eat. And so I'm gonna put three bar stools, and then if um, company were to like ever come over, you need more than three seats, I would have stools in a closet, and I would probably bring two over on this side. So there's my um, stools there. Okay, I'm going to uh, end here. I don't wanna do this entire floor plan. It's getting to be a quite a long video. So with that being said, I am going to, um, what you would do next, we're gonna pretend this is all completely filled in. You take your ruler and you are going to make your walls permanent. And you are going to color in your walls. and you would use your Sharpie pen for your um, items inside your walls because you don't want them to be that thick. And so I would use my Sharpie pen to outline my kitchen cabinets, my oven, my sink, my refrigerator, like all that stuff. And I would use my thick Sharpie for my walls and such. And then um, after that, and I would also use my thin Sharpie for my windows since they have to be um, very, very precise. And so I would draw in my windows with my Sharpie pen. So I didn't forget them. Okay, my window is done. And then I would go in and surround that window with the walls like I told you to do. And I would color it. Okay, I would do this with all of my walls. And then I would outline all of my furniture pieces and all of my symbols in Sharpie pen. Once that's completely finished, you are then going to go ahead and color it with colored pencils. And um, then your floor plan would be finished. We'd cut it out, we'd mount it on colored paper and so on and so forth. And um, in this video, I'm not gonna cover any of that because you know how to do that. And yeah, this is your basic video that you can use to help you draw a floor plan.